Hey you guys, it's your girl Ashley my girl 26 Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you will be notified the next time I upload a video. Happy Saturday, y'all. What's going on? What's going on? Your girl is up here in Tennessee. I have been shopping y'all all day long. Stuff to be honest with you, I really didn't need to buy. <laughs> I mean, for real, for real, y'all. Um, well, actually, I'll take that back. So I came up here for like one or two items, right? Um, for some housewares for the house, you know, for um, finishing up the pantry and all that good stuff. Y'all, I came up here and lost my dog on mine. Because initially, you know how you start off like saying, okay, I'm only going to buy a couple of things. And that was the intent. However, um, as I was shopping... I kind of came in contact with some things on sale. So your girl being the frugal Capricorn that I am, I just couldn't resist myself. <laughs> yes, uh, I could not resist myself. So I decided to engage and um, participate in a little bit of retail therapy. Um, yes, and it was well needed. <laughs> Anyway, y'all, yeah, so I decided to do a little bit of shopping. Um, I went into my favorite store, Belk, and proceeded to spend, well, you know, I, okay, I spent 300 and some odd dollars, okay? <laughs> yes, I spent a little bit of money, and, um, but I got some good things. Um, I managed to pick up some stuff that, I actually needed and wanted at the same time. Y'all, I found this jumpsuit, y'all, that will blow your mind, okay? Got it on sale for $69, okay? Now, I am gonna have to have it altered by a professional tailor because this type of fabric and the way that it is because it actually has a liner built in, but it is very, um, very light, very airy, um, it is like one of those fabrics and it's in my favorite color. It's in cream and gold, uh, which are definitely my colors. So I am really going to be excited to, uh, wear this once I get it tailored. It, it's kind of giving the vibe of like, you know, when you go on a cruise and they have that one night when you go to that one restaurant where, you know, you want to get dressed up but you may not want to wear like an after five dress. So like I can play it up and wear it with some flats um, or I could, you know, wear a small heel or a tall heel, but I'm just not a heel girl. Uh, I mean, literally the heels that I wore for, you know, the uh, wedding damn near took me out, but actually those shoes will go perfectly with this look. So that was the one reason why I had to get the dress. And then when I saw what the model looked like, because initially I thought it was a dress, but when I scanned it to look at the price, it showed the model in a pantsuit, in a jumper. So I was like, oh yes, I gotta do this. But of course, you know, I'm short, I'm 5'3". And for people like me, things like this just do not fit. Cause I mean, y'all, when I put it up against my body, literally it was draping on the floor, okay? So clearly, uh, that was not going to work. So, you know, your girl had to, you know, improvise. So we have like a master tailor um, in Madison. Uh, so I've got plenty of time, you know, to get this look altered and, uh, you know, to my specifications. I'm thinking, I don't really have anything upcoming that I would need to wear something like this formal too. But you never know. You know, this could be a date night look. Uh, it's the type of jumper, you know, it's um, a halter type jumper. So it goes around the neck. And y'all, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to crush it. Okay, I'm just going to crush it. So as I stated, I'm up here in my favorite city. Uh, I'm in Franklin this afternoon slash evening. And uh, yeah, doing a little bit of, you know, retail therapy. And I was trying to think, I also went to Gabe's. I didn't quite find what I was looking for in Gabe's. Um, it looked like they had kind of been cleaned out. Uh, you know, when, <laughs> you know, when folk, when they have a sale, you know, like they're the kind of store, oh Lord, please don't hit that little minivan because that lady wasn't even looking. <laughs> I hate that. 
and you got cheering in the car too, you know, you gotta be paying attention. But anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, you know, I got a really, really good deal uh, on it. And I'll show it to you guys a little bit later on. Right now, I have got to get some gas um, to gas up the Lex so that we can head, I actually gotta head back over near the mall because I decided to order Cheesecake Factory because our Cheesecake Factory, y'all cannot make my favorite. Uh, which is the shrimp and chicken gumbo. So I had to get it while I'm up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, have to cut this video short. But I'll be back uh, later on this evening to guys. Ooh, I'll be back later on this evening to show you guys what I picked up here in Franklin. So it's your girl Aspen, my girl two six. Talk to you guys a little bit later. Deuces and roll tide, roll. Hey you guys, it's your girl Aspen, my girl two six. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications so that you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Happy Saturday, you guys. So I have returned safe and sound from Franklin, um, Tennessee. I was up there earlier today and did a little bit of retail therapy, um, as your girl loves to coin it. So I thought I'd come on here really, really quick and show you guys some of the items that I purchased not only today in this shopping haul, but I also have some other items that I purchased a couple of weeks. Well, was it a week ago? No, it was actually this past week. I think it was Thursday or Friday that I purchased the items that I've got here in my closet and I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video haul. All right, so I told you guys, um, earlier that I was up at my favorite store in Franklin, Gabe. So it's a combination of a Big Lots and an Oli's. For those of you all that may be in the southeastern part of the country, um, Oli's is a bargain store where they get a lot of items that come from your brand name stores like your Targets, your Walmarts. Heck, I've even seen stuff in there from basically home goods. So you can really get a lot of great items there at a very, very low, low price. Y'all, I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> funny story for real though. I went up there, like I said, with the intentions of basically looking for two either plastic containers that I can pour my um, liquid detergent and my fabric softener in so that I could have for the laundry room. Well, that turned into quite a shopping haul. Some items that I unfortunately had to put back because they were outside of this spending trip. But I'm sure they'll still be there when I go back in two weeks. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you the items that I purchased. So you guys know that I recently moved into my newly constructed home. I'm a first time homeowner and I'm always looking for items that I can use in the household every day that just make my life a lot easier when it comes to organizing. And one of the key factors of me moving into this home was not to take all of the clutter that I had in my previous town home that I was renting. So I wanted this home to kind of be a lot more easier on my back and bending down and having to stoop down and pick up things and organize things. So I wanted to be able to get organizational items that will help um, make a lot of my cleaning and, you know, organizational things so much easier. Well, hence the first item that I got. It is a favorite wear sliding organizing drawer with three separate compartments. So this is what it looks like. I'll show it to you this way. That way you can kind of actually see in between. So basically it'll allow me to put a lot of my household cleaning items in this bin and then it also slides out, hence is why you have like the zip ties here to keep it closed. And then it also has the nice um, rubber grommets on the bottom, so that way it doesn't scratch my under undercarriage of my cabinet in my underneath my sink. But I do plan on putting a protective um, type of vinyl um, to ensure that if any of my household cleaning supplies, springs a leak, or accidentally gets tipped over, it won't ruin my cabinets. Um, but this item here was $16.99. All right, next item that I also got at Gabe's 
it really isn't much of an item. I actually got this for the purpose of my daughter who will be taking her school lunch. Um, it's a hundred box of Ziploc bags, the sandwich style. Um, and these were $4.99. So always, you know, something that you can use for the household, um, for lunches and things of that nature, always comes in handy. All right, the next item I picked up was a over the cabinet towel bar. Now you guys, I'm just gonna be frankly honest with you. I have both my dishwasher and I also have the oven where I typically house the dish, um, the dish towel. But for some reason, every time, of course, when I open up the dishwasher, the towel falls. Same thing when I go to open up the oven. So I figure, you know what, let me get one of these and that way I won't have to worry about the dish towel falling because it literally hangs over the actual cabinet door. All right. And this here was $2.99. And keeping with the organizational style, um, I picked up another two pack of these plastic um, rectangular flex bins for my bathroom storage. Um, you guys, these are really coming in clutch for all of the uh, toiletry items, a lot of the health, hair care items, and even my skincare items. And it allows me to continue to keep my drawers nice and clean. And I don't necessarily have to put lay down those pesky um, vinyl like covers, you know, to protect the wood on the inside. But I probably may do that anyway, just to ensure that in the event these get damaged somehow or they spring a leak, I'm always gonna have protection in my cabinets. And these were only $1.99. And by the way, um, I believe from a haul that I did many, many months ago prior to closing on the house, or was it here recently? Did I even do a haul on that one? I think I may not have done a haul, but it's actually in one of the videos that I'm gonna be posting um, either tonight or tomorrow where I started doing the organization in my master bath, taking a lot of my perfumes and putting them in these little rectangular um, type bins. But those were like a, um, kind of like an off green or like a coral green. I wasn't able to find those same type of um, bins on this particular trip. So I'm hoping the next time I go back up to Gabe's that they'll have some more in stock. But these were literally the only ones I could find in the store. So they must be a popular item up in the Franklin, Tennessee area. And like I said, they were only $1.99. All right. Um, and last, well, not last but not least, but coming up to be last, um, you guys saw these items in my pantry organizational video. I picked up another um, set of the soft grip handle thins. Um, these are the rectangular style. As you can see, these are the more um, more wider ones. Um, they did have a couple of more, but the color difference on the actual handle, I didn't want to like mix the color and mess up, you know, the nice aesthetically pleasing vibe that I already have going on in the pantry. So I decided not to get the other three that they did have which would have given me a little bit more um, wiggle room in terms of adding more storage. But hopefully the next time I go up, I'll be able to get another set. Now this one is a little bit more deeper as you can see here um, than this one. So I'm hoping to get some of my larger items like uh, chips or either um, some of my um, Nutri-Grain bars that I tend to purchase and I can store them either in this one or I can store them in this one right here but either way both of these this one was $3.99 and this one was $4.99 but these come in handy um especially with pantry organization or any type of organization um they'll come in handy all right um i think that's all that oh no i got one more thing well two more things actually now this item here so as i told you at the beginning of the video right I went in there, you know, specifically looking for a certain item. And of course, anytime you go to Gabe's, you're going to find more than what you came in there to get because the prices are so affordable. 
But y'all, when I saw this next item, I could not pass it up because I was like, I have been searching for this color um, sheet set, y'all, and I found it. It is the Philadelphia Eagle Green. Y'all, I could not pass this up and I don't know if my camera is gonna really do the color justice, but y'all, this is a king size six piece sheet set from Serta. Um, and it's the soft type of fabric, guaranteed to fit, always snug and easy to care for. Even after laundering the sheets, they still hold their softness, um, no matter how, you know, what the temperature is on your dryer. But the fact that I was able to get these in the same color as the Philadelphia Eagles uniform, y'all, just makes it even better. And it'll go nicely with my Philadelphia Eagle, um, oh gosh, pillowcases. Um, well, actually it's the, um, the, um, what do you call it? <laughs> uh, pillowcase holder. I, I think that's what you call it or cover pillowcase cover. I've got two of those. Um, for two standard pillows. So when I get ready to change my linen set up in September, when the season officially starts, this will be the sheet set that will be going in the bed. I am still looking for a king size Philadelphia Eagles um, comforter. So if anyone has been able to locate one, um, please put the link in the description or in your comment in this video. I would greatly appreciate it. I found one or a couple on Amazon, but they happen to be out of stock at the time when I was searching. So I'm gonna go back on there and hopefully I can find one that matches this color perfectly because y'all, football season is upon us and your girl has got to be laid out, decked out in the Philadelphia Eagle colors representing my squad. Now they also had a crimson um, sheet set as well, but because it was going to extend me over what I had planned to spend the day, I had to leave that one in the store. But luckily, um, my local Oli's also carries the same sheet sets. So I'm hoping to either find the same color at Oli's or hopefully the next time I go back up to Franklin, that same sheet set will be there. Because I'm sure there's plenty of Alabama fans in Franklin, Tennessee, and in the surrounding Brentwood area um, that want to get their hands on my sheet set. But I did make sure I hid it specifically where no one hopefully would discover it. So, and this sheet set was only $19.99 for a king size set, by the way. All right, and the last item that I picked up from Gage, you guys, this was really a hard sale because when I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, this is definitely something I know I will either wear to work or even maybe to church or maybe out for a nice brunch, but I definitely had to have it. Um, it's this really pretty, um, like, I want to say maxi dress, um, but you know, I'm 5'3", so you know, there's no telling how long it's gonna end up being. But basically, um, it's almost like a, yeah, it's almost like a maxi dress because it literally comes all the way down to like my ankles. But the cute thing about it is, is that it has this cute little, I guess it's like a belt um, that you can actually kind of put around your waist. I wasn't quite sure exactly how this was going to look with the dress. It's either a belt or just kind of like a sash that kind of hangs on the side. Um, but I thought it was really, really cute. I love the colors. I definitely love the gold um, inlay that goes across the um, chest and the back of the dress. And I got this in a size 2X. Um, I'm really, really losing a lot of weight with Wagovi. And I didn't want, I was hoping I could find a 1X because a lot of the 2X dresses are going to fit me very, very loosely, but I figured, you know, since I am losing weight and if I do end up losing um, a lot more weight, you know, in the near future, which obviously I will, um, I can always just use it as like a lounger um, to wear around the house, a nightgown or something like that. Um, this is a type of little set here that is versatile. So even um, 
when the true season goes away, I can end up wearing it, you know, later on. So this was the last item that I picked up from Gates. Oh, and by the way, the dress was only $9. Originally it was $11.99 and it was marked down to $9. So that's a really good deal. And they had two other items that I really, really liked. It was another black and white dress. Um, similar to this in terms of like how the sleeves were, like the halter type sleeves. And um, I picked up a really nice blouse, but like I said, that was gonna put me over my budget um, for what I had set aside to spend today. Um, and the other, one other item that I had from a previous haul, um, I picked up this little scrub brush. Um, I've got to go upstairs and clean the guest bathroom tub. So I figured this scrub brush would really be good in terms of getting the tub clean. And I also have sponges that I'll be using to clean um, the inside um, area of the shower because um, it doesn't really require, you know, the use of a scrub brush. So that's it for that haul. Um, I'm going to pause this video and run into my closet and I'm going to go get the other items that I had purchased earlier this week to show you guys as well. So hold that thought. Be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back. So, um, as I said earlier in this video, I previously did a little bit of shopping um, earlier um, this past week. Um, I think it was on Thursday, Thursday evening or Friday evening. And I picked up some things specifically for my master bedroom here. Um, one of those items being a area rug that I needed for the bedroom. And much to my initial plans, I got an all white rug. Um, this is something I picked up from Ross. Um, the reason I picked it up and decided to go with it is that it is so soft, you guys. It reminds me of the rug that I have in the living room. Um, it literally feels like the bottom of a baby's butt. So I was like, I can't go wrong with the first thing being, you know, stepping out on this rug in the morning when I first get ready to get out of bed. Um, I definitely want my feet to feel nice and cozy um, when I first get ready to get out, get out of the bed or when I'm getting ready to say my prayers at night. Have a nice soft rug for my knees to be able to um, lie on in the midst of me thanking God for all he has done for me, y'all, and trust and believe he has done a lot okay you guys um this area rug is a and i don't have my glasses but i think i can see it it is a it's 48 by 56 area rug so i'm gonna say it's probably about the size of um a three seated sofa that you would have like in your living room so it'll be the perfect size um, to put on the side of the bed um, when I get ready to get up in the morning. I just haven't decided. Well, actually, I kind of have decided because looking at the bed right now, it's probably going to go on this side right here because there's more space on this side of the bed than it would be on that side. So, and it's getting a little warm in here. I think it's because of the light. So let me switch off. As a matter of fact, what I am going to do is I'm actually going to unbox um, this lamp that I had purchased. Oh gosh, um, I think it was back in, gosh, March or April. This was also a Gabe's Fine. Um, it's a five foot one inch iron case or iron cage um, floor lamp. You guys, it's the same lamp that I have in my living room here. And this is a really, really good buy. Um, I only paid, I think it was 19, wait a minute, was it 19? Yeah, 19.99 for this floor lamp. Hence the reason why I bought two. Um, so since the light is not as bright in here and actually it's kind of yellow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this together real quick. Um, and then I'm going to come back on video and then I'm going to finish up the rest of the haul with the items that I purchased both last week and what I purchased out today in Franklin, Tennessee at Belk. So stay tuned. 
All right, y'all. It's your girl, Ask Mama Girl 26. I am back. So I have put together the lamp. Um, I'll show you guys real quick what it is actually looking like. Sorry for the mess right now. Um, it's just a basic, your basic standard tall lamp. And you can probably see better when you actually see me um, when I do the living room and the master bedroom reveal. Sorry for the shakiness, guys. All right, so let's get back into this haul. I wanna wrap this thing up because I'm hungry, y'all. It is already after 10 p.m. because I literally unloaded the car and came straight in here so I can show you guys everything that I did in this haul. Now, um, okay, so you guys might remember, and I can't remember if I have uploaded this video or not, but if I have not, I'm going to upload it shortly, um, probably this evening. But I wanted to let you guys know that in the original video, I showed you a set of pillows that I purchased from Marshalls, right? And remember, I told you guys that they only had just this one pillow, right? Well, I happen to go to the Marshalls in Madison and look what I found. So now I have a set of these pillows, which is going to go perfect with the theme all throughout the house, whether it's in the living room, the bedrooms, everything is about the black woman, our black culture. Um, I wanted my home to represent me. And the only way I could represent me is putting things in here that look like me, okay? You get the picture? All throughout my home, once I start during each room reveal, you will see photographs, you will see pictures, specifically pictures um, that I've purchased that represent the black woman because I am a black woman. I'm a strong, independent black woman who has been doing it all by herself with the grace of God. And that's how I've gotten here. And when I was designing my home initially with the builder, I wanted to keep that in mind because it's very important for me to be able to show you all, those of you all who have yet to get to home ownership, um, those of you all that are still working, aspiring to being able to get that home of your dreams. Now, this is my first home. Now, is it a home of my dreams? I have to say it's pretty close. Um, what I would have liked to have had was a five bedroom ranch with a three car garage, but that particular model would not fit on this lot. So this was the next best thing because it also gave me my master on the first level and I love it. You guys, now that the bed is here, I can really start the decorating. I've already got the sheets. As a matter of fact, when you flip these pillows over, now the light here shows it as more of a solid teal green. Um, so it's, it's not necessarily the same green I have on my walls. The wall color is more of a sage green. It's a softer green. And that's what I wanted to embody. This is an oasis. My home is my oasis. And it's actually the theme for my housewarming party that will be held in September. So this particular pillow, um, the design of the pillow and the aspects of the pillow are also going to be featured in the wall art that I've chosen for the room. Um, many of you all, if you go back into my early videos, probably in either January or February, I did a haul where I showed you guys the artwork that I purchased from the home from Ross. And a lot of those pictures, you'll notice a particular color scheme, a lot of oranges, a lot of teals, the brown skin from the faces of the men and women that are featured on that artwork. Yeah, there was a reason behind that, okay? I wanted to continue with that theme. So what I've been able to do successfully 
um, I've been able to basically carry those colors into the room, those vibrant oranges, those vibrant teal blues, the beautiful brown skin. That's what I wanted to be able to embody. So I've been fortunate enough that the wall art that I selected is gonna tie right in. And it's one of those things that is versatile about the artwork that I chose because I can either switch it up and I can have the artwork here, but I can also switch it up and put it in the living room because with the white decor that I've chosen for the living room, it's gonna pop no matter where it is in the house. So I was very fortunate to be able to bring all of these different aspects into the house. And you guys will see that as I start to do the room reveals coming up here in the very near future. I still have some more furniture to come in for the lady layer. And as soon as that furniture comes in in the early part of September, you will get the final video of the well, I, I, it's not going to be an empty house. So, so it's going to be my furnished house tour. And that video, I'm, I'm still looking for a videographer to shoot that. The original company that I had planned to do that video has kind of taken a different perspective with their business. So they're no longer doing those types of videos. So I'm still in the market for a videographer to be able to professionally shoot this video. So um, hopefully if you're in the Decatur, Birmingham, or even Huntsville or Madison area, and you are into videography and even shooting um, completed home tours, um, make sure to leave your information in the comment section of this video, or I will put my business email address for inquiries where you can contact me directly, all right? All right, so let's get on with the rest of Z Hall. So, now that I have found the mate to these pillows, it's going to allow me to get started with the designing um, and completion of the master. Now, on my trip today, um, I was also kind of searching for um, some light furniture that would go well in the space until um, I'm able to bring in the uh, custom closet design. Now, that has been kind of pushed back to uh, second or third quarter of 2024. And it's mainly because I'm taking care of the more smaller projects in the home and I'm putting the larger projects that ching ching, uh, cost a little bit more to the tail back end. Um, but if that does change in the future, you guys will get a chance to see um, that from start to finish. The design is done. Um, it's just a matter of paying for uh, the closet. So if I have any benefactors out there that would love to sponsor um, that uh, closet from the container store or hey, container store, if you happen to come across this video um, and would like to be able to sponsor the completion of my master closet, hey, feel free to reach out because I will definitely leave my business email in the description of this video. But on with the rest of the haul. Okay, so keeping with the theme or keeping with the shopping trip from earlier this past week, I definitely needed some more of these. And that's the black um, velvet hangers. Um, this one is a set of 25. Um, as you all may or may not know, I have a lot of clothes, y'all. I am in between sizes. I have gone from a 3X literally down to a 1X, y'all. I'm getting into that 18, 20 slash 16 and on, up and on down. So it's really, really hard to balance all of the clothes that I've purchased over the last two years. And I've purchased quite a bit in various sales that Belk has had um, Dress Barn back in 2019 and the early 2020 prior to the pandemic. And then even thereafter when Dress Barn was getting ready to close um, final. Um, so I also got this set here. This particular set, um, actually came with, um, hold on, let me get it out of the bag. Well, actually, let me take this out. Okay, no, it won't. Okay, so this set came with, um, three set of hooks. 
that literally can go anywhere. And I'm just gonna kinda try to hold this up a bit because I'm gonna have to cut it off. Um, but it came with these really, really nice velvet hooks. I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna put these. These may actually go in either the guest closet um, of the guest room, or it may even go in my office because on the first floor, I have 10 foot or eight foot doors. So I can't reach the top of the door. Um, and it doesn't make any sense to put these there because there's no way I would be able to hang anything on them um, because of the fact that I'm 5'3", okay? And I have eight foot doors going into my bedroom, out of my bedroom and into my bath and into my closet. So there's no way I could utilize that, but um, this is another set of 20. And I believe on this particular trip, so I ended up with a set of two sets of 20, I think two sets of 20 and then a set of 25. So basically that's 65 hangers and that should give me enough to get like all of my hangables up. Right now I'm already having a closet nightmare or should I say a closet failure um, because the side of the closet where I have my winter coats um, and really a lot of them aren't even that heavy. The screw is already starting to come out of the wall. So what I'm gonna do tomorrow is I'm gonna take my drill and I'm gonna try to drill that um, screw back into the wall and hopefully um, it will stay without any further movement, but the house is settling. So a lot of things are gonna kind of be moving around because of that fact. And that's one thing when you go and you do a new construction, specifically during the time period that I built my home, my home's, my home's construction started back in October of 2022. And it was finished at the end of February of 23 where it was still very cold outside. So the home was kind of like, ugh, like this, really, really tight. And now that the summer months and the summer heat has come upon us, the house is really starting to expand. So you're seeing the typical cracks that you see in the crown molding, also in your baseboards, which the builder will come through um, because I'll be adding that into my Builder Trend app for them to come out and fix um, about 30 days prior, well, actually probably do it th before 30 days prior to my 11th month ex inspection, but I still have a good amount of time um, before we even get to that point because there's a lot of things that they've got to come out and take care of, but that'll be a separate video that I'll do a little bit later. All right, so that's it for pretty much all of the hangers um, that I purchased. Um, I'm trying to see, I thought I had a bag. Let me see, is this one? Uh, no, this is Gabe's. All right, I'll just put this one in here for right now. Because this one was already kind of tearing because of the hangers themselves. Oh, gosh, y'all, it's a lot of stuff. All right, um, next up, uh, part of that Marshall haul. So let's move on into the kitchen aisle. So I already have probably something similar to this, but when I saw it, I was like, you know what? This is really kind of like what I really, really need. It's a roll up drying rack with a cutlery holder. Now, I just recently brought, bought two sets of cutlery. Um, a set that was by, um, what is it? Minoski, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, y'all, because I'm tired as I don't know what, and I'm hungry. Um, but then I also got another set of silverware. Um, I ended up getting two sets. And the reason for that is, is because one, when you, um, of course there's only two people eating here, right? But when stuff is dirty and I don't feel like cleaning it, um, it always helps to have a second set of cutlery because I'm trying to get away from using plasticware. We've used it for the last four years, y'all. And I'm just tired of eating on plastic utensils. Sometimes there's foods that require having an actual fork, a spoon, and or knife. So I'm trying to get a little bit more grown um, since I have a grown house. Uh, and it's time to get into using real cutlery. But this right here, y'all, I think is going to really, really help in the kitchen. Um, this is what it looks like. So it's only probably half the size of the current one that I already have. But when I've got, you know, cutlery items to, um, you know, do, instead of putting them in the dishwasher, because one of the things I've noticed with my dishwasher, 
Um, the current cutlery that I have, it tends to get stuck in those grooves for some odd reason. Um, which hence I probably should have upgraded and got a better dishwasher. But the newer dishwashers were not available by the builder. And that's something that you can easily swap out um, when Lowe's has their, you know, Black Friday sales. But I'm not switching dishwashers anytime soon, okay? So, um, that's one of the items. And I got this from Marshall's. This was $12.99. All right, next up from Marshall's. Um, so, these items here kind of fall in the category of two different things. One, wellness. Um, and also um, candles. So on the wellness side, um, I'm sure every woman that watches my content has at some point in time purchased these for yourself. These are the spongibles. This one is the anti-cellulite body wash, um, vitamin C. It cleanses, exfoliates, moisturizes, and massages. Um, and I love these, y'all. Um, this really helps with your cellulite in those thigh areas, the inner thigh, the outside of the thigh, and it's good for up to 20 plus washes. Um, the vitamin C really, really helps in terms of the elasticity of your skin. And like I said, I'm, my body is in ketosis, so it is losing weight like that, okay? I also got one, um, a petty scrub sponge uh, for when... I like to do and like do my feet. Sometimes I like to treat myself um, after a hard day's work. I have like a little petty spa and this is really, really good to use um, even after or even while your water is kind of bubbly because it really gets, um, you know, to help with the exfoliant of your feet. And I don't know about you guys, you know, pedicures at these salons are really sometimes cringeworthy, you know, because you think, that they're using all new tools, but basically all they're doing is they're taking the existing tools and they're basically putting them in an the oven, supposedly to sanitize them. Who knows if they're really sanitized or not? You know what I'm saying? So um, this is another reason to have something like this, um, you know, handy where you can actually use on your feet. You know, you could be, it could be during your bath time. You could sit on the edge of the tub and you can do it right there in the tub or you can use one of the um, uh, foot baths that you can get from like your local Marshalls, TJ Maxx, or even Walmart. Um, so this is two of the items that I purchased. And keeping in that same category, in terms of exfoliating, y'all, I have so many of these. Um, they're called the Olology Moisturizing Foot, foot Mask. And this is in the scent um, Coconut Rose. Basically, you get three pairs of these socks. Um, they help to smooth, hydrate, and nourish your feet. And y'all, one of the things that I love to do with these is I like to wear them overnight. So after I've gone in and I've had my shower or my bath and I'm feeling good, I'm smelling good, I want my feet to feel good, y'all. I want to give my feet like a soothing, like all over exfoliating, moisturizing, nourishment type of situation while I sleep. So this is my go-to right here. Um, I already have like at least two or three of these around the house, I believe in lavender, but I saw this coconut rose and I said, you know what, let me give it a try. Um, always nice to add something different. You can't go wrong with these, um, not to mention I really have to use these up before October. So these are probably the first ones I use because I think the ones that I already have, they don't expire till like the end of the year. So I definitely have enough to use these at least once a week. And when I'm on my feet, especially when I'm driving behind the wheel, my feet sweat y'all so bad. And I hate to say it, by the time I take off them shoes, whatever I'm wearing, y'all, phone my sir. So yeah, so this also helps to refresh your feet as well. All right, moving right along and keeping in the wellness category. So this right here, well actually, I don't know if you wanna call it wellness, but um, I think it's wellness. And to be honest with you guys, I really haven't been getting into these. 
Um, but a friend of mine was telling me that these are really, really good for exfoliating your body. We all know a lot of us use the loofah sponges. I'm one included. Um, but I really started to examine whether or not I'm really getting clean and whether or not my body's even being exfoliated. Um, and since I suffer from sensitive skin anyway, um, it's always good to have these gloves um, and to use them. Um, this is the Spa Bella Exfoliating Bath and Shower Gloves. You slip on to polish and smooth and soothe dull dry skin all over the body. And there are three pairs, a pink, a white, and a teal pair. And I only paid $4.99 for these. Um, oh, I forgot to give you the prices of the other items. Um, the sponges were um, $3.99 each. Well, this one, the pedicure one was $3.99. And this one here was actually $4.99. So really, really good deals on these. Um, oh, and speaking of feet, <laughs> um, I actually found this OPI nail liqueur um, in this particular color. Hopefully you guys can see it on camera. Um, it's, it's giving kind of like a sage or lime color um and when i saw it i was like you know what this would really be unique to put on my toes and on my hands y'all i am in such a need of a manicure um because i didn't unfortunately get a chance to get a manicure um or a renewed pedicure prior to the wedding but the shoes that i was wearing um they covered up my toes anyway um and i still had my french manicure but it's definitely in need of a uh undoing um, so I'm thinking the next time I go to the nail salon, I might go ahead and try this color both on my feet and also on my hands. But considering it's almost football season, I'm not going to be able to have it on too, too long because your girl is going to be draped in white with the red A on my nails. Okay, got to get ready for the Texas game with the University of Alabama the second weekend in September. All right, um, my last item of wellness comes in the form of a candle. Y'all, I am so obsessed when it comes to candles. Y'all, I literally have a cabinet right now full of candles, okay? Candles that I have literally been accumulating since 2020, okay? I have candles that I have gotten from Bat was it Bed Bath? No, not Bed Bath Beyond. Bath and Body Works. Okay, um, I have candles I've gotten from TJ Maxx. I have candles that I have gotten from Marshalls. I have candles that I have gotten from Ross and other places. Um, oh, and not to mention Gates. Okay, I think I have candles to last me until the end of 2024. That's how many candles I literally have. Okay. Um, but this particular one, y'all, oh my goodness. When I smelled it, I was like, you know what? I got to find this one. And I got to get like a slew of these vanilla tonka. Okay? Y'all, when I inhale this candle, I smell more of the vanilla than I do the tonka. Which it's really going to be interesting when I light it. Because I'm wondering, is it going to give me more of vanilla smell or more of Tonka once it's lit? So, um, more to follow on this one, okay? This might end up being my first bath candle that I actually use when I take my first bubble bath. All right, so let me finish these last few items. And then we will go into what I got today. All right, guys. Um, so let me put this over here. So these last two items are really, really new items. Um, I decided to give them a try. One of them, you know, I'm typical um, for this item. But the second item is fairly new. I've never tried these before. Um, but I did find a... Um, cute little canister of the organic lemon honey green tea. There's 50 string um, tag tea bags. 
and this is what the container looks like. These are supposedly organic, which I don't know how can a tea bag or tea be organic, but hey, I'm going to I'm going to roll with it. Um it says that it is non-GMO, um reuse recycle, um and something else on here. I can't see cuz I don't have my glasses on. Um and it shows the uh the caffeine content. So this will be really, really good once the weather starts to get cool, if it ever does get cool here in Huntsville. Um, God only knows. <laughs> Y'all, summer is looking like it ain't gonna never leave. It's like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the sun up here and I'm not going nowhere, okay? It's literally saying I'm gonna be here and I'm not changing. So Mother Nature, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to come up out your situation right now. Um, I don't know if you mad at your boyfriend, but baby, I'm gonna need you to yeah, tone it down a bit. All right, and this last one here, this really kind of <laughs> piqued my interest. Uh, one, because it doesn't expire until May of 2024, so I definitely got plenty of time to drink it. But it's a sparkling lemon and honey black tea. So this is one where I can actually put these in the refrigerator, and I can have these probably like maybe as a, you know, defined drink when I'm working, um, you know, during the day. But I only saw, well, actually there were more than one of these. I probably should have gotten two, but I said, you know what? Let me actually try it first because it may be one of those situations where, hey, this ain't working, this ain't gonna work, okay? So this was the last item from the Marshall Hall. And now let's get to what I bought today. All right. So one of the items that I did purchase, it's not here, unfortunately, because it's in the car. And y'all, I'm too tired to go out to the car and get it, but I will tell you what it is. It is a three burner type um, uh, heating apparatus. So basically when you're doing like your catered events or if you're doing a housewarming party and you need to be able to keep something good and hot um, for your guests, uh, it's a three, was it three burner, um, like <laughs> oven, I guess it's not a physical oven, but I think you guys don't know what I'm saying. I'll try to maybe insert a picture somewhere up here. Um, or if I can find it on Belk's website, I'll link it in the description so you guys can actually see what I'm referring to, but it was on sale today at Belk for 50% off and I got it for $50. Um, I've seen other comparable um, models in the past. Uh, one preferably at Old Pottery Barn. This was like, oh my gosh, I want to say three years ago. Um, shortly after everything started opening back up, they had so much in stock. And at the time, I really wanted to get it. But literally, you guys, I was shopping there like crazy and was running out of room at the house. And even though I still have my storage, I was like, yeah, my girl, are you really gonna use this right now? We're in the middle of a pandemic. Yeah, so I was like, you know what? It'll be there. Y'all, when I decided I wanted to have it, it was no longer there. So it kind of came and went. But anywho, I got one now, uh, which will come in clutch for the housewarming party in September because I'm gonna be doing all the cooking as well okay so speaking of cooking um this next item or should i say the first item that i got from belt is a kitchen aid three set of mixing bowls in the fiery red or should i say crimson color red to go with my alabama crimson tie decor this is from kitchen maid um one of the best brands when it comes to mixing bowls along with their mixers. And I got this on sale for $17.99. It was regularly priced $40. So totally saved a bunch of money. All right, and keeping also with the kitchen, um, it's the next item. And I actually purchased two of these. They are these airtight containers, BPA free, leak proof, clear and durable and stackable in storage. You can use it in your pantry for organization or it's good for storage of any type of 
item like for your lunch or your teen's lunch. Uh, hopefully this will keep my daughter from using my other ceramic dishes um, that are like this because I did specifically get this for her in mind so that she could put um, some of her items in school. And this is not glass. It's actually, I don't know what this is made of. Um, does it say? Ooh, y'all, I'm getting tired. Um, well, all I know, it's personable. So in other words, you can write on it. It's stackable. Um, it's food safe, freezer safe, BPA free, airtight, leak proof. Okay, that's it. <laughs> um, and another item that I picked up, y'all, I really wish that this would have been available like a week ago when I went to Belk in um, Calera. Um, but this is a lace bodysuit uh, firm shapewear from Maiden Form. So this one um, is the one basically that you wear with, okay, come on now. This is the one that you wear without the bra because it kind of has the, you know, bralette for you to wear. And it also has an opening here in the back. But what I'm hoping is that this will only come up so far in my back that it will allow me to wear that beautiful and sexy dress that I bought at Forever 21 in Jaja. So I'm going to have to try it on. Um, later on when I do the try on haul tomorrow um, for both the dress that I wore to the wedding as well as some of the outfits that I purchased at Forever 21. I'm going to film a try on haul of those items plus a couple of other items that I picked up at Belt um, recently. Now the one that I really really need and they had it but they had it in the wrong size. It's actually the slip on um, shapewear by Maiden Form. So I'm going to go to the Maiden Form website probably tomorrow because y'all, I'm just too tired tonight to be able to do it and look to see if they have that in my bra size. I probably need to get remeasured because I'm sure my boobs are shrinking and I'm probably not a 42 double D. But then again, I could really be because my 42 double Ds are actually starting to fit the correct way that they're supposed to fit. Um, and I'm not having any leakage, okay? All right, um, and also keeping with the uh, kitchenware, they had a more smaller size. This is the three quart or the 12 ounce size of that same item um, that I just previously showed you. And I purchased two of these. These were both on sale for $4.87. I really wish I could have gotten more and I probably could have, but I actually took some items back because uh, one of the other items that I'm going to save for last, and actually, where is that item? Because I don't, or is it in here? Okay, it is in here. So the last item that I'm really going to show you, um, <laughs> it's the reason why I had to actually take some of the items that I had back, because I actually had these two bamboo glassware um, uh, stackable uh, containers. Um, they were on sale for $15 each. But I ended up putting those back when I saw this very last item that I'm going to show you. All right. One other item that I picked up, y'all, that is going to be an integral part of going to any afternoon football game at Brian Denny Stadium is this bad boy right here. This is a misting fan, okay? Um, I believe it, I don't know what size battery it takes. Um, I don't have my glasses, so I can't read what this says. But y'all, the fan comes on, and obviously it will put out a very nice cool mist. You just need a bottle of water um, and fill that bad boy up. And as you're sitting in Brian Denny Stadium, waiting for the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Million Dollar Band to hit the field, keep yourself cool with this bad boy right here, y'all. I'm gonna stay cool as a cucumber. Okay, if for football season. And it's small enough to where it'll fit in my clear bag that I take into the stadium. So this would be really, really good. And this is something that they will not uh, confiscate when I go through security. Because I've seen these before. 
All right, and keeping with my Alabama Crimson Tide, this next item, y'all know your girl had to get it. It's that time of the year, it's grilling season. So your girl had to get a brand new mitten and a brand new Alabama Crimson Tide apron to go with football season. You cannot have football and not have an apron. And not to mention, you can't have an apron to cook in on a Saturday when it's kickoff time. But for me, I won't be cooking on Saturday because I'll do all that cooking on Friday night. But anywho, um, when I get the Traeger grill, um, I'll be able to put my food on early in the morning before that early 11 a.m. kickoff, even if the Crimson Tide aren't rolling until the 2 p.m. or even the 6 p.m. slot. Your girl will be ready, okay? Roll Tide. All right, and the last but not least, certainly not least item that I purchased today. Now, y'all, when I saw this, I was like, damn a girl, why, oh, why, oh, why are you purchasing this? Okay, first of all, um, it's a little bit outside of my size for right now, but with the amount of weight that I'm losing, um, give me about six months and your girl is going to be stunning in this beautiful jumpsuit with the tie in the back. Y'all, this is a cream and gold jumpsuit and it even has the, um, the, uh, the sheer part, but it also has this part right here that allows you to have, to wear the suit with the liner. So it basically has the liner as well as the sheer, uh -oh. <laughs> as well as the sheer part. So basically this is kind of what the bottom of it looks like, you guys. I love it, it's gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna put it on a hanger. It is so long on me right now, y'all. It's gonna have to be professionally altered. Um, I can almost tell you right now, I don't think even with shapewear, I'm gonna get my happy behind in this. But I'm going to try and try it on tomorrow while I'm doing the try-on haul. So if you don't see me in it, that just probably means it's a little tight. <laughs> so for right now, this is going to go into the closet. And once I get down to the size that I am trying to achieve, um, a <laughs> Bama girl, almost give him a good name, <laughs> will be rocking this next summer, okay? probably right around cruise time because y'all your girl is in need of a cruise i don't know if it'll be disney i don't know if it'll be carnival or one of the other cruise lines but your girl is getting on somebody's boat okay and i'm going to be wearing this and who knows i may be going to somebody's wedding next year i don't know so so this is my last oh no it's not my last item i got one more to show you guys and I will then finally be able to eat and relax and probably just go straight to sleep, y'all. <laughs> Your girl is tired, okay? Tired.com. Now, this last and final item um, is more of the bedding. Um, I was definitely in need, oh, in need, <laughs> in need of a mattress pad for the brand new canopy bed. And they had this bad boy on sale for $56. Um, it is uh, hypoallergenic, um, also prevents dust mites and things of that nature. This is the brand. The brand's name is Clean Design Home by Martex. And the actual um, person that designed this or created this is by a black woman, okay? So we keeping it with the trend. The black woman's home. I'm buying materials by a black woman. I'm buying artwork by black women. Y'all, this is woman and girl power on steroids in this crib, okay? So yeah, this pretty much wraps up my haul for this segment. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed my shopping trip up in Franklin, Tennessee. So I'm going to get ready and hop off camera and go warm up my Cheesecake Factory chicken and shrimp gumbo. And I also have me uh, my favorite dessert, banana cream cheesecake. Oh yes, I'm gonna get a little bit of that tonight too. So you guys, 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this haul. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I will see you tomorrow for Soul Food Sunday. It's your girl, Ask Family Girl 26, aka Family Girl 26, signing off and roll tight roll. Deuces.